Good morning. Uh, on, on behalf of National Instruments Worldwide Headquarters in Austin, Texas, I also want to welcome you to NI Days 2014. You know, I have a particularly personal uh, excitement about coming here because this is my first trip to Singapore. And so not only am I excited to visit this vibrant part of the world with its economy and culture, <clears throat> I'm also really excited to spend the day meeting many of you and learning about the cool applications in the way you're applying graphical system design in your everyday jobs. Uh, because as Chandran mentioned, you know, it's really you and I that are working together to apply graphical system design <clears throat> to meet really the world's most incredible challenges and applications in an infinite variety of industries. It's really you and I that are working together to apply this platform-based approach to solve applications from medicine to energy to uh, space flight to electric cars to educating our future innovators. And so it's very much about you and NI working together. And NI Days is a place that we come together to celebrate with you the great accomplishments that we've been able to work together on. Of course, I think all of us would agree that one of the most fundamental, important tools in graphical system design that are enabling you to get your jobs done is LabVIEW, a graphical development environment and system design tool. And so here to tell you about the latest with LabVIEW and its developments, please welcome Satish Mohanra. Hi, Satish. So, uh, what's going on with LabVIEW these days? Sure, Mike. Let me quickly take people through what LabVIEW has been so far and what we are adding uh, with the newer edition of LabVIEW. All of you here have been using LabVIEW for quite a few variety of applications. Uh, it could start off with simple data acquisition, it could be a complex RF test system, or it could be an embedded system that you're trying to build. LabVIEW, with its simplicity in approach, through the abstraction that it provides, it has been able to help you build really complex systems fast. One of the greatest advantages of using LabVIEW is the capability to interface with any hardware and get, them, get the data into your system. Be it 200 of the C-series I.O. modules that National Instruments has, or be it the 1500 PXI modules that are there in the marketplace, or be it any other traditional instrument with over 10,000 instrument drivers on our instrument driver network, you've been able to connect them and bring the data into your computer. Once you have it on the computing platform, you would like to make informed decisions by doing some analysis on it. There are a whole variety of analysis capabilities, starting with 900 graphical functions that are built into LabVIEW. We have over 800 text-based functions that can help you make these informed decisions. With all of these capabilities, People around the world have been using LabVIEW as the de facto standard for test, measurement, control, and automation. I'm extremely proud to let you know that over 95% of Fortune 500 country, companies working in the manufacturing space across the globe use National Instruments LabVIEW as the de, fac de facto tool for test, measurement, and control. Just not this, LabVIEW is actually a very intuitive tool, like Chandran and uh, Mike spoke about, it is an amazing tool for students to use and learn engineering concepts. And over 8,000 classrooms today across the globe use LabVIEW as a platform for teaching learning. If, if we get into the design space, uh, this, this is something that's very interesting. Uh, LabVIEW as a design environment is powering top 20 of the 5G researchers who are trying to build the first, first, fifth generation communication system. So it, it's an <clears throat> amazing platform that people have been using and customers like you have been engaging with in building all of these awesome applications. Having spoken about all of this, let me also talk to you about what you have been doing. We have over 15,000 certified LabVIEW developers, I'm sure, a lot of crowd certified developers are here in our uh, midst as well. We also have a very active community of LabVIEW users sharing their knowledge, and over 200,000 of them spaced all across the world. There are customers who say, give us a turnkey solution, uh, and we have 800 Alliance members placed across the globe who enable our customers to put together systems and deliver it to our customers. There is 
an innovation that we did a couple of years ago, which we call as the LabU Tools Network. LabU Tools <coughs> Network is a business model where you, as developers, can develop and put your apps, and you have immediate business access across the globe. You don't have to put together any infrastructure. National Instruments, through the LabU Tools Network, provides you the infrastructure to expand your business across the globe with your knowledge, with your intellectual property. So those have been the amazing things that we've been doing with LabVIEW so far. Okay, so Tisha, I think everybody can appreciate that LabVIEW has come a long way. And I'm glad that you've highlighted both the contributions that National Instruments makes in developing our products, but also the key role that you, our community, plays in providing the add-on tools, because it's together that we continue to grow the platform. But I'm guessing that the audience, what they really want to know is what's new in LabVIEW now. Sure. So why don't you tell us what's going on with LabVIEW right now? Absolutely. I think I'm really excited to be here and to launch the newest version of LabVIEW, LabVIEW 2014. And all of you would be really excited to see the amazing features that we've been able to pack into it. And also our tools network folks have been able to help us enable more with, with the LabVIEW tools. Let me start off with talking to you about what we have in the LabVIEW 2014 that we have incorporated. We spoke about interfacing to different hardware. LabVIEW can now interface with all the new hardware that we're going to be talking about uh, in, in today's keynote. It could be the software design instruments which have FPGA on board, or it could be the USB-based compact vision system, or the system on module. All of these integrate and can be programmed seamlessly using LabVIEW. We've added capabilities to people who are trying to do real-time control. We have MathScript enabled on LabVIEW Linux real-time for 64-bit. We also have wideband FFT and vision algorithms that can run directly on FPGA. What that means is you can really benefit from the high-end computing power that is available on the FPGA and concurrently do image processing applications. To add to all of this, the user interface has been something that we are constantly working on. Today you can have, with the data dashboard 2.0, which is available for Android and iOS, you could publish the data from anywhere where you're trying to acquire and send it across and anybody having a smart device and access to those particular uh, web services can see all of these really nice data coming in on very intuitive user interfaces on the data dashboard. We have added another interesting capability to our Compact Leo uh, platform with the embedded HMI and LabVIEW is a core element of enabling that embedded HMI where you don't have to have another separate programming paradigm to program the HMI is the same user interface on your compact view which can be plugged onto a display. These were the different things that we built. And thanks to customers like you, they have added some amazing capabilities to LabVIEW as well. Here is one that I'd like to demonstrate to you. Uh, to do that, let me hand it over to Aditya. Thanks, Satish. So, LabSocket is an add-on that can replicate the front panel of your VI in any browser by just dropping a single VI on your block diagram. That's a single VI that helps you publish a front panel on a computer onto a smart device or onto any thin client. That's awesome. Can we demonstrate That's that? Right. Let me show it to you in action. So I have an application here that analyzes weather data, and I would like to access this VI from anywhere in any browser. That means it can be from my laptop, mobile devices or tablet. So to do that, I just need to add one VI from LabSocket, put it on the block diagram, and wire it. And this VI will allow me to access from any browser. So I open this browser here, point to the URL. Oh, let me run the VI first. OK, as I run my VI, LabSocket will automatically generate a web page representation of my front panel, and it will continuously synchronize the front panel and the browser. So in my browser, I just need to point it to the URL that AppSocket generates, and this is in my laptop, but I can also do that in my tablet. I just need to open the browser, point it to the URL, and Satish can show it to the customers. That's nice, so can I control it from here? Yes, you can control it from there. That's you awesome. have full control. Awesome. So this is an application that has been developed by our customers to enable you to publish any user front panel across the world, right? Now let me get talking about some of the 
other applications, other great capabilities that we've added to LabVIEW, or the value that we've added to LabVIEW. As people are trying to develop sophisticated systems, we see that customers are trying to make sure that the quality of the system that they build is extremely good. What that means is, as you're developing applications with LabVIEW, you need to have the system engineering tools that help you do that. You need to be able to analyze your code and make sure it's of the greatest quality. You need to be able to do testing on the code to make sure the inputs and outputs are working fine. So with the LabVIEW professional development system, we are adding all of these capabilities, the execution profiling, the code analysis, the unit testing, all of that gets added on to LabVIEW professional development system. So moving forward, if you have the LabVIEW professional development system, you are, you are enabled with these tools to ensure that you develop really good quality applications. Let me talk about one more module, and uh, the LabVIEW FPGA module, we spoke about some of the great capabilities that we've added. One of the things that is important when we are building a LabVIEW FPGA application is the, is the capability to bring external IP wherever needed and run it on the LabVIEW FPGA platform. And to enable that, we have incorporated the IP builder. And people who have been using FPGA, uh, now we have the cloud compile service introduced to you. And you could use the cloud compile service, pump the data that, pump the you know, LabVIEW FPGA code that you've built to the cloud compile service. It would compile it and send it back to you. In the meantime, you could keep doing other developments as well. This is available free of cost with anybody who's on active SSP with LabVIEW FPGA. So that's another addition that we've done to the LabVIEW FPGA platform. So these have been the amazing things that we've added to LabVIEW 2014. And I would encourage you to be a part of the What is New in LabVIEW 2014 session where you can learn a lot more about the capabilities that you and I have been adding to LabVIEW. Great, so as you can see, I want to reinforce that as we continue to grow the capabilities of LabVIEW, it is definitely a combination of the work that National Instruments does, but also trying to leverage and take advantage of the work that you're doing and the rest of the community so that together we can continue to grow the applications and the capabilities of the platform. Now, I'm sure many of you will recognize and probably yourself do, a, do applications in what we call data acquisition. So general purpose collecting of data, temperature, pressure, et cetera, in a variety of ways. Some of you are probably working in the lab on the bench top doing testing. Maybe many of you are building large facilities, perhaps doing field-based testing. The amazing thing is this entire breadth of applications is used with the same LabVIEW tool and the same graphical system design platform that can span so many, so many different applications. And to kind of exemplify that this morning, we'd like to show you a particularly large system that was developed by one of our key customers in, in Northern Europe. So Satish, tell them about that. Sure. I'd like to talk about this application with the video running in the back so that you understand the complexity of this application and the scale of this application. This is an application that was developed by Jacobs for a customer called Scania. They make these huge trucks. And all of these trucks, before it hits the field, have to be tested in a lab environment. Uh, this is a test cell which has the capability to simulate different types of climatic conditions, different types of road conditions, and a wind tunnel. So you can imagine the amount of data that is being collected when these tests are being conducted. <clears throat> you can also imagine the tight controls that happen on the dynamometer to ensure that the road conditions are properly simulated. So this particular test cell that was developed by Jacobs uh, is, is one of its kind, which enables our customers to do some really, really sophisticated tests. So Satish, what are some of the key challenges that Jacobs face when they build a facility of this scale? Sure. If you look at this particular facility, some of the tests that happen here would even break the vehicle, which basically means that they don't have a chance or they don't have a chance to do a retake, you know, uh, and which, which needs the system to be extremely reliable it means that the system logs all of those critical data and ensures that it's you know, available for them for offline analysis. And to add to all of this, the biggest challenge would be to synchronize so many channels of data which come from different, different sensors that are mounted on the different parts of the vehicle and on the surroundings of the vehicle. So that was the big challenge that they had. So what are the benefits they get of using MI products for this kind of a, of a facility? They used NI's platform with LabVIEW and the PXI system to enable 
themselves to apply, acquire all the required information. The BXI platform along with LabVIEW enabled them to synchronize all of this data and the whole system was so reliable that they've been able to do these tests very reliably and repetitively. And with LabVIEW, they have been able to develop these applications in a fraction of the time that they would take with any other tools. So they are extremely happy with what they've been able to achieve with LabVIEW and the PXI platform. Well, great, Satish. Thanks for giving us that overview of that great application and also telling us the audience about the latest version of LabVIEW. Thanks it was my pleasure. Thanks, Thank guys. you so much.